Alright then, so hello and welcome back to another episode of uh, Brave New World Blindfolded. So in this episode we're going to be taking on the Phantom Train, and he's going to get his own segment, not really so much for the sake of Brave New World as for the sake of the LLG. So I'm just going to stack Cyan with the ribbon and the sprint shoes, give him that so that he has less chance of dying, and yeah, the white cape I guess might help. It really doesn't matter, Cyan's gonna carry this fight with his MP damage. So uh, I'll put Cyan alone on his controller, because he's gonna be the only one who's doing anything besides defend. And then I'll place my cursor on save in preparation for later, hopefully. And... let's go. <coughs> one up, to the left. Hopefully that'll take care of him, so that I don't have to work anything else out. You've got the Spirit Claw, and you're in the front row, so I might as well attack. The nice... Even though Bushido can be kind of, uh, tricky, the thing that's good about Bushido is that... Did it just seriously use re rays again? Or was that the other one? Um... Yeah, stop doing that. <laughs> um, the ni one nice thing about Bushido is that I can use all my Bushidos without having to move my cursor position, so kind of handy. Alright, still going left to the conductor's compartment. Down, left, up. This is the conductor's room, yeah I know. Alright, now I'm ready to go. Hello, Phantom Train. There ain't no getting off of this train you're on. Evil Toot's always his opening move. Fortunately for me, and unfortunately for him, it can't affect Cyan because he's got the ribbon. It did Berserk Shadow, however, and Sabin. I have to say, if I was doing an actual HP damaging strategy, Berserking Sabin would probably be useful, whereas uh, Berserking Shadow would probably be something I'd need to remedy. Oh crud. Wait, what? Oh yeah, right. He was already on Bushido. <laughs> so he's just waiting for Mind Blow to go off. It's like, it's slow, but it's not that slow. Hopefully Cyan didn't get shockwaved, eat wheel, and is about to get hit by something else, because that would be awful. I mean, it had killed him. Cyan is kinda tanky, especially since he's in the back. And... Done. With MP damaging, that was really nothing. That, that was... that required really no luck or skill. Besides being able to time Mind Blow, which isn't that difficult, to be honest. However, there's no way I would have wanted to fight Rhizopaz and Ghost Train in the same segment in the LLG, so... Yeah, that's kind of... it for now. You get to see a whole bunch of cutscenes, depending on how fast you read, and I get to sit here and mash a button.
All right, now I think I'm free to run around here, so I can just, I don't know, do stuff. <laughs> Maybe I talk to Shadow there. I don't know. Maybe I talk to Shadow there. Alright, so the end of the segment. See you next time.